Okay, today we're going to look at how we can use matrices to solve equations. And this is kind of how your calculator works them out. And if you look at when you solve equations in your calculator, you kind of put them in as matrices. And we can use it to solve, if we use a 3 by 3 matrix, we can use it to solve three simultaneous linear equations. So what we say is if we have a matrix A multiplied by x, y, z, our three unknowns, and we get an answer of V, say. If you were to imagine multiplying both sides by a to the minus 1, so if I had a to the minus 1, a, x, y, z, that would be the same as a to the minus 1 times v. And remember, these two will cancel out, or they'll become the identity matrix, which doesn't change anything. So what we have is that our answer to x, y, z that we're trying to find is simply the inverse matrix of a times by the v matrix. And that's what we're going to use when we solve these equations. Okay, let's imagine this is a set of three simultaneous equations that we want to solve. So what I first need to do is write this as a system of matrices. So what I would write this as is the matrix minus 1, 6, minus 2, 6, minus 2, minus 1 minus 2, 3, 5, times by x, y, z, equals 21, minus 16, 24. Now hopefully you can see how that makes sense, because here, if I were to do my multiplying, I could do minus 1 times x, plus 6 times y minus 2 times z equals that 21. That's my first equation, isn't it? 6 times x minus 2 times y minus 1 times z equals minus 16. So when you multiply this out, that's what I'm going to get. So what I now need to do is say, well, I know that if I were to find the inverse of this matrix and do the inverse of that matrix times this one, I'd be left with this x, y, z. Now for this one, you don't need to do the inverse matrix by hand just work it out on your calculator. So on your calculator, type in this matrix, work out the inverse of it, and then just multiply it together with that one. So if you were to do this one on your calculator, the inverse of this matrix, so for this one, the inverse comes out as 1 over 189, and then your matrix is 7, 36, 10, 28, 9, 13, Minus 14, 9, 34. That would be what you'd get if you do that. So if you then wanted to find x, y, z, all you're going to do is that matrix multiplied by this. And again, do it on a calculator. Make use of that calculator you've got. This matrix times by the 21 minus 16, 24. And you should get... 28, 9, 13, minus 14, 9, 34, and you're timesing that by 21, minus 16, 24, and you should get out your final answer is minus 1, 4, 2. So x equals minus 1, y equals 4, z equals 2. 